Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the new home outside laboratory. Yeah. It's a bit small. Uh, but I'm going to make it work. Let me quickly, briefly, just show you around. But I got some interesting stuff to show you today. Um, of what I'm trying to accomplish. That's what this video is about. But very briefly, um, it's a mess. But I've got most of my tools in here that I need. So, yeah, enough about that. We'll discuss maybe some of this later. This is all new, though. So here's what I got. I uh, moved to California to take a position to allow me to do full-time research, which is awesome. It's open source. Everything's great. Um, just going to be starting that tomorrow, actually, I'm recording this video anyway, and uh, pretty excited about that. All of my actual stuff is up there. I kept a lot of my tools here because there's some tools there that I can use. Um, I may bring some stuff up there, but for now, this is what I've got. And since stuff in California is really expensive, I am trying to divert some of my transportation a little differently. So, yes, this is what I've done. You guys are going to laugh at me. Feel free to laugh. It really doesn't matter. But I sold the little white car, the Ford Taurus that I fixed, 2,000 miles plus, 200,000 miles plus with the rebuilt head gaskets. Um, sold that to a friend for a really cheap price um, because he needed a car and I thought I'd help him out. And uh, So that's what I did. So I was going to take some of that money and buy a scooter or something that I didn't have to license or register um, just to stay away from the cost of registering and insurance and all that kind of stuff. So the goal was to just buy something that I could ride to work and back without having to worry about all the extra fees and costs like that's what my goal was so my dad has had we've had I've had it as a kid actually really had not that long ago but I don't know we've had it for probably 10 years I rode it around for about a year or two um, it's a moped it's a Honda PA 52 I'll show you what it looks like but whenever I had it the uh, muffler was clogged, so we took the muffler off, and that thing ran like crazy fast. It was an awesome machine. But we finally seized up the, uh, well, we didn't seize it up, but we scarred up the piston, lost all, all of our compression. Now it doesn't run. So I brought that with me to California, and my goal is to fix that. Now, I'm not for sure if this is going to have enough power and speed to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to upgrade this thing, and I thought I'd film it. Um, so this is the first video of this series of fixing the Honda PA52 upgrading it new exhaust new cylinder new head um, um, yeah I don't know what the particular name of this is I forgot but nonetheless it's got a 50 cc cylinder on it I'm gonna be putting a 70 cc cylinder on it um, piston and cylinder and try to boost everything that way and new exhaust uh, because I have to have one anyway so I gotta get an exhaust and then the other thing I'm going to do is probably a carburetor and I have to rejet it and stuff. So, yeah, I just thought I'd document it because I know you guys enjoy kind of following what I do on a daily basis. So, yeah, let's go check it out. I've got the, the rest of the parts sitting in here. I'll show you them in a minute. But for now, here's where all of my other crap is. Some of it. I have quite a bit of stuff to put away out here. But this is it. This is the Honda PA-52. Um, this thing did get wrecked. Uh, my cousin wrecked it whenever we had it a long time ago. Bent the foot pedal. Uh, the, the handlebars went over too far and smashed into the gas tank here. Other than that, um, I'm pretty sure we had to buy a new uh, lenses for this or something. I don't remember. It was so long ago. But this is what it looks like. It's actually a pretty sweet little ride. And uh, over time, over time, it's going to be a fun little ride for me. <clears throat> um, this thing actually went pretty fast when I took the muffler off. So I do have all the covers off and stuff. But this is a, a pedal start. So you actually pedal it to get it started. Um, it does have a variable speed belt driven system on this side. Both of the pulleys change this changes diameter and this changes diameter so at a certain speed this whole thing pulls this way pulls this belt up 
and this one works the opposite this one pulls smaller that's how the variable transmission works on these on any scooters pretty much identical <clears throat> but this is an oldie this lever here turns it into just pedal only so you can actually pedal it and if you flip it up then it turns the it engages the uh, actual motor portion of this thing now once you start it with the pedals then it'll run it's happy um, so this is the old exhaust and uh, it is clogged up I know for a fact and you can see uh, they, there's some holes poked in it at one time we did try to burn it out I think and it just didn't work and we finally we gave up on it I just took it off so here's the model number and if you'd like to look it up there's the serial number it is a PA52 1983 I think that might have been the last year they made them um, I do I the the other thing I purchased or I'm going to buy I guess I haven't done it yet but I have it on my list is back brake pads the front ones are probably fine but the back ones need to be rebuilt um, it is a mix 50 or 25 to 1 two stroke so you have to pre-mix it before you dump it in here I have not even opened this to see if it's super dry or anything don't have a clue Let's see if it'll get any light. Yeah, a little surface rust on the side there. We may need to pay attention to that. No, oh, I smell it. it. Smells like it's got something left in it. So the carburetor is, you know, cooked down here. The filter's probably never been changed. I don't know if I've ever really taken this apart. Like I said, all the covers and stuff are in the uh, little shed there. Six volts is the power source. Um, the seat cover never really stayed on, so that's why the bungee cords are on here. This has always been loose. I kind of like it that way, but I might want to tighten it. Um, yeah. So that's my my new ride to work. <laughs> I know some of you are laughing at me. Um, I do have a request for anybody out there. This is a PA52 Honda. If by any chance any of you have a speedometer and a speedometer cable cable for this, please let me know because. I originally had taken this out for something and I couldn't find it so if anybody has parts or a location near you that you know that you may have some parts please let me know I would really like to put the speedometer back on here it goes in here the cable comes up and goes into the bottom into the speedo here um, so that's a kind of something I really need um, if it comes down to it I might have to buy something but I, if somebody has something out there I have such a big a, a, such a big following that somebody out there probably has something for this um, so let me know your guys' thoughts I'd be happy to uh, to respond in comments or whatever you can see I I have this clogged right now but it's just the uh, the piston rod sticking out here we'll get into that when I tear it apart because I'm going to take this whole thing off here and probably put it on the bench clean it up really well and put it back on so anyway let's go look at the uh, piston really quickly um, these are the little foot covers which are busted um, again if anybody has parts for this bike that they have an old one laying around that they don't use please let me know um, totally open for purchasing parts um, for a decent price even if they're used um, so just kind of keep me updated um, here you can see how bad the piston got scarred I mean it's shot there, there's no there's no uh, rehoning I could probably rehone this portion but this piston is going to have to be purchased and it's a 50 cc piston um, you can see you can see the scars in that it's not happy so the piston is scarred pretty bad let's see if I can set this down so it's a little more clear for you I'm having a hard time seeing this I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that yeah, that's the scarred side. You see it? This is cast iron. It's kind of scarred up there. That could probably be rehoned, and then I just have to get a bigger uh, O-ring kit. Uh, the head here has a decompression um, little jig built into it. You can actually see it right there. Oh man, the camera light. Uh, the lighting's terrible. You can see it kind of, but if you if you push on this. Uh, this opens this up. Nah, I can't even push it. it you hold a lever on the the uh, 
brakes near the brakes up there. There's a lever you hold, and you can actually de de open up the chamber, basically the head. Uh, when you open that up, it allows you to pedal it really fast, and you let it go, and it kind of gives it. A, it's easier to pedal start. That's all it is. It doesn't. It's not necessary, but it definitely helps you if you're a kid and you can't get the sucker going. It takes a lot to actually pedal through the compression stroke. So that just allows you to do it the other way around. So anyway, uh, the new one will be, I'm going to purchase a kit with the exhaust should be matching. So it will actually be a 70 cc. So this right now is a 50 cc. The ports are smaller. I might have to open up the ports on the, uh, the casing. But the ports are bigger. Um, it's just all around happier. It's a fit 70 uh, 70 cc piston, still a 40 millimeter stroke, I think. I'm just referencing off everything I've been reading, so no expert here. So anyway, that's it. If you guys have any uh, thoughts on this project, please let me know. The goal out of this project is to keep it a 50 cc bike, even though I'm putting a 70 cc cylinder on it. Um, and that way I can still ride it normally because you would have to really find out if it's a 70cc or not. And I'm trying to get a little more speed out of this because right now top speed with factory everything is 30 miles per hour. I'd like to get a little bit more out of that so that I can uh, cruise around a little bit better because I'll be doing a lot of hill climbing where I'm at. So if I can get the variable speed drive, uh, there's rollers in there which are weighted. If you lighten up the weight, changes the top speed, changes when that opens up, it changes, you can you can actually buy a lot of parts for this but you can also modify a lot of parts for this so my my goal is to get more torque at a lower um, I guess at a I guess more torque to get up hills really is my my ultimate goal uh, more speed and more torque to get up hills so that's it I have no idea if this, is even, this project is even going to work but my goal is to put about 400 bucks into this um, no more than that. Right now my parts list is right at about 400 bucks. If I don't have to buy anything else, then it's running, working, and then if it doesn't work out for me, then I can sell it and try to buy something that would work out for me better, even if I have to go to licensing it and getting a, a motorcycle license. I had a motorcycle uh, permit in Indiana. Um, I'll probably end up getting one out here just so I've got that and then get the license as time progresses. But right now, the goal is, since it doesn't really rain much where I'm at in California, um, I figured if I could ride something like this to work, that'd be great. So, trying to save on money, trying to save on gas, and trying to uh, um, kind of keep a balance in there, because uh, it's kind of crazy out here. Uh, as far as prices, it's just expensive out here. It's very expensive. Um, so that's it. That's all I got for you. Russ, rwgresearch.com is my website. If you like, check it out. Please stay tuned for all sorts of different updates. Um, so much stuff going on. I can only do so much a little at a time. So God bless. My battery died. Anyway, so keep leaving those comments because they're always encouraging. And also if you're wondering why uh, I didn't choose to do electric or some other alternative, it's because um, the batteries and the motor, which I would have to buy, cost more than like a complete scooter would cost to buy a whole new brand new gas scooter um, so even um, with the modifications I can get 50 miles per gallon still not bad um, and then the reason I can't go electric is because I'm climbing huge hills I need like a 2000 watt motor and a battery pack to go with it I have a controller that would work but nothing else so it just wouldn't work peace leave a comment see you